this is my favourite question in so much as this is kind of what I do for a job. Um, and I'm only going to talk about half of it, which is how I think the best way to spend money is, really. And I, there's, there's two ways, to, there's two things here. One of which I think is about owned first approach, and the other one is about partnerships. And I'm going to talk about both of those things. Now, owned first kind of fits into that model of paid, owned, and earned, which I'm sure everybody's aware of in the fact that there are messages, some of which we have to pay to get out there, some of which we own, some of which we earn. And this is a way of just focusing in on that owned, owned messages as being the key important ones. And I'm a big advocate of that, and it's a, it's a kind of an approach to planning, which is gaining more and more momentum, particularly as we get more into digital and more into kind of content marketing. Now, what is it? I think an own first approach is really good because it kind of leverages that engagement that you get from branded content. And I would, I, I'm going to, I think that as an arts organization, the content is your key marketing asset. So an own first approach allows you to use the things that you are inherently best at. Um, what it does is it's focusing on the experience that people have through those owned assets. It's the sense of putting 10 things in, taking seven things out to make sure that you get just really, really strong owned assets. And it's about making marketing kind of reorientated around that process rather than, reorient rather than being orientated around advertising and producing messages. It's very much about owned stuff. And what comes with that is making sure that you optimize what you have to make sure it gets picked up organically by all the search engines, et cetera, et cetera. Why is it important? Well, being really good at owned makes all your paid stuff work better because it means that your paid activity drives to really efficient owned assets. So you're paying to move, to some, move somebody to somewhere and then they have a much better experience. So it makes your money more efficient in that sense when you do spend it. And we know, because my organization does a lot of global research on this, that owned assets tend to be about 30% more influential than paid assets. So you're moving people to things where it really has an influence. We also know that earned is really, really even more, is even more influential than owned, but that's really, really, really hard to plan for. In, in my sense, because it's driven by creativity and the sense of the idea and those sorts of things. But equally, I can cite research that shows the earned exposure that you get is proportional to how good your owned and earned experiences are as well. So by getting owned right, you're also maximizing the amount of earned that you get out of it. So it really work, by focusing in on earned means that you get the most out of every dollar that you spend. Kind of how do you do it? Well, it's about creating kind of seamless consumer journeys that kind of move people towards the end that you want to get them to. Ideally, customize that in some way.